All right, in this next video, we're going to be doing a very simple query. It's called select count. And basically what we're doing is we're counting how many records are in a table or how many of a certain type of records are in a table. It's a very common uh, way of querying information. Let me close this window. First thing I just want to do is highlight this to run this. I'm going to select everything from my customer type table. And you see there's <clears throat> a whopping three records in it. If I didn't want to return all this, I mean, I could select everything from the table and just count how many records there are, but there could be thousands. There could be thousands of records, probably not in a lookup table like that. Uh, but if I wanted to run a query to just see how many rows were in it, I would just basically say select count, and then I'd have to put the parentheses, and inside the parentheses, the star, the asterisk, and then from, and then the table name. So when I do that, okay, here's everything from the table, but now here's the count. The count is equal to three. Now notice how it says no column name up here. If I throw something after the count keyword, like just, you know, CNT or something like that, then it'll actually just return something. This isn't so much of a big deal when you're just in the query editing window, uh, but if you were returning a record set to say VB or C sharp, then you would want to name this field. That's just a little something for you. Uh, but moving on, here's a very similar thing. I'm selecting everything from the department table, but then I'm also going to select the count. Now, here, the only difference is there's five records, and it says that there's five. What did we do differently? Nothing. We just basically changed which table we're getting the count from. But what if you needed to do a little bit more? For example, you know, here I am. I'm selecting from departments again. But, you know, maybe... Maybe instead of just saying, you know, select count, like we did in the last window, you know, there's five entire records in this table. Maybe what I want to do is I want to see, you know, how many records in this table have the visible flag set to true. We can just look at it and there's four, but again, there could be thousands of records. And so, you know, this, this could be a big mess if you were trying to, you know, do this by hand. So, um... If we run this again, see now the difference here is, well actually let's, you know, we can see the table. There's five records, four of them have the visible flag set to true. Well the difference between these last two results, here we have a five and here we have a four. And the reason why is here we're selecting everything from the table, which is five records. But here we're selecting everything from the table where the visible is set to one or true. And that's, that's how we do that. That's how you can select a count from a table <clears throat> or from a subset of the records of the table based on adding something to the where clause, a filter.